over the weekend, the Cabinet of the Welsh Government met to continue our discussions about a time-limited firebreak, a short, sharp shock to turn back the clock, slow down the virus and give us more time. We met again this morning and we have now reached the difficult decision to introduce a two-week firebreak starting at 6pm on Friday this week. The firebreak period <coughs> will then include the half-term holiday and cover the weeks ending on Monday the 9th of November. This firebreak is the shortest we can make it, but that means that it will have to be sharp and deep in order to have the impact we need it to have on the virus. Between Friday the 23rd of October and the 9th of November, everyone in Wales will be required to stay at home. This means working from home wherever that is possible. And the only exceptions will be critical workers and jobs where working from home is simply not possible. All non-essential retail, leisure, hospitality and tourism businesses will close, just as they had to during the March lockdown. Community centres, libraries and recycling centres will close. Places of worship will be closed for normal services, other than for funerals or wedding ceremonies. Now, as the virus has taken hold, we have said repeatedly at the Welsh Government that children would be our top priority if further restrictions were needed and that education must continue. So as a result, over this period, childcare facilities will stay open. Primary and special schools will reopen as normal after the half-term week. Secondary schools will reopen after the half-term, but for children in years seven and eight only. Other students who are taking examinations will be able to attend for them, but all other students will continue their learning from home for that extra week. Universities will continue to provide a blend of in-person and online learning in the same way as we are requiring everyone to stay at home, students will also have to stay at home in their university accommodation. Now, coronavirus spreads when people are in close contact with one another, and especially indoors. To help break the cycle of transmission, there will be no gatherings with people you do not live with, either indoors or outdoors, during this two-week period. There will continue to be an exception for adults living alone and single parents who will continue to be able to join with one other household for support. 